Lynn Lee Oz, January 23rd, 2014. And an article in the news today about the weather, and I'm going to show you how it's relating to HARP in just a moment. But let's look at the headline. It says, get used to the cold. Relentless freeze sweeping Midwest and Northeast will cause more snow next week with one storm scheduled to hit right before the Super Bowl. It says here in Mail Online News, snow from an unexpected storm earlier in the week won't have a chance to melt before the Northeast is hit with yet another blast early next week. The storm forecasted for Monday will be followed by yet another storm later in the week, just one or two days before the Super Bowl is being held in East Rutherford, New, Jer New Jersey on Saturday, February the 2nd. The first Alberta Clipper storm is expected to arrive on the East Coast on Monday with snow in the central Appalachians and New England a day before. You can see some of the pictures there. And it says the storm will start off Saturday taking a more southern route than Tuesday's storm. It will hit the Ohio Valley Sunday night before making its way to the mid-Atlantic region by Monday. The storm will also affect the Midwest region, causing possible dangerous driving conditions and flight delays in Minneapolis, Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Buffalo, New York. According to AccuWeather.com, senior meteorologist John Griesick the combination of rounds of dry, powdery snow, gusty winds, and low temperatures can make for whiteouts and brief blizzard conditions. The snowstorm will hit the Midwest early, coming in on Thursday before dropping snow on Friday. Now, something interesting um, in this article is dated January 7th, so it's not that long ago. And this has been kind of like the same ongoing thing with the snow. It says, Polar Vortex, Harp Deep Freeze Attack Upon America, question mark. Now, this AMTV news source used a Before It's News contributor article called The Weather Space. And it says, they have an amazing graphic running today. Again, this was January 7th. That shows an America under Harp attack and a record-setting polar vortex that appears to be taking the shape of the Harp attack seen below with current long wave frequency magnitude reading near 10 in the bullseye of the polar vortex, can we clearly see another use of this harp weapon in the graphics below? Life-threatening wind chill chart and second graphic below. Video reports below as well. Then it goes on to say M6 through M9, significant change is expected. Anything over M7 is rare and special attention must be directed when readings go seven and higher. Severe storms are associated with this reading, which if a short spike can be a nearby event and a long duration and slow build being a large scale change. M10 is associated with tornado outbreaks. This also can be strong hurricanes and blizzards. Okay, so they've got this chart here. Now if you look at it, it says current long wave frequency magnitude reading. Now you can see this whole area where these snowstorms are occurring. See the hot pink and the reds there and the orange. High, moderate to high, and moderate. And then it's surrounded by yellow and it starts to break off. Okay. So, and that's a long wave frequency magnitude reading. So why is it that those are so high right in the area where these snowstorms are happening? And it says right here, you see it again, life-threatening wind chills. Look at that. See that area? Now look again up here. All the same area. Okay, so this is harp at work again. Why are they doing this? I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that they care about killing just a few people. Um, the powers that be care about doing other things, breaking down society, destroying, causing panic. Um, this is their ultimate goal. In fact, this video is going to be placed in a post that I am doing right now. I'm not done with it, but I'm going to put the link here in my about section on YouTube for you to check out. It's all about Tesla, the fallen angels, and HARP. So be sure and check it out. That's your news for today about our weather and how I feel that it relates to ARP. See for yourself right there.
I'll go ahead and add that photo to my post. Thank you and God bless you.